My next guest is going to be fighting for the Titan FC heavyweight title coming up here on Friday against Bobby Brents. It is Saeed Soma joining me here on the program for the very first time. Saeed, how are you, man? Good, man. How are you? How's everything? Everything's great, man. I really appreciate you taking the time, especially during fight week. Just first off, how excited are you to fight for some hardware here for Titan FC on Fight Pass? Uh, pretty, I'm pretty excited, man. It's, I think it's going to be a great thing. Uh, it looks, looks good for my future, you know? So pretty excited. Before we talk about that fight on Friday, I want to go all the way back to the beginning, man. How did you get involved in combat sports? Uh, with a, <laughs> a couple of friends got together and we were in the it's a garage fight. You know, one of those old school, like, hey, let's put some gloves on. Let's see what happens. And I sparred somebody. It was my first time fighting. He's been training for a while. I did pretty well. And this, 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 uh, this guy I know was like, hey, I think you've got talent. You should try it out. So I just went and tried it, loved it, and never stopped since. At what point did you know you wanted to do this as a career? Was it like at that moment or was it when you started training no, or no, was it your no, first no, fight? No, yeah. Uh, no, no. I, uh, I actually wanted to finish my school first. I was a swimmer at the time, actually. So I, I, um, I swam all the way up to college. Uh, it, was, it was D3, but I, I had high hopes for it, but I had to quit because of my shoulder. Um, and I actually did not decide to fight for a career until 2018 when I went pro. When I was like, you know what? I love the lifestyle. I can't. I don't know how to live any, way, any other way. So just, yeah, just, that's why I decided Interesting. Okay. Um, what, what was your, uh, what was your, um, uh, I don't even know how you say it, like your stroke of choice in, in swimming. What did you used to do? I was, I was a backstroke guy when I used to do competitive swimming. I was, I was, a, I was a flyer, a butterfly. Flyer? Yeah. That's a Butterfly. tough one. You got to use the, uh, the, you know, the, the abs and stuff, right? So that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's good. Do you still watch swimming? Is that something that interests you or are you kind of done with that part of your life? I never watched actually. I just still swim as much as I can with, but with all this happening, the pools are closed or at least the, the pool I used to go to is closed, but I try to swim three times a week still. It's, it's part of my cardio. How much is, yeah, I was going to say, how much has that helped your fight career? Because obviously cardio is sort of a big part of it. And I know with swimming, you need your lungs. And, and a lot of those guys are very well conditioned just because it's such a different uh, type of training. I'll tell you what, man. When I was swimming full time and, and I, I was fighting and swimming at the same time, I very rarely got tired. Uh, when I stopped swimming as much, there's a big difference. There's, it definitely helps. I think it's a big part of, of my cardio. And do you think that makes you unique as a heavyweight? Because we often hear of heavyweights because they carry more weight. They get tired easier. Do you feel like that's a big advantage for you, uh, just you know, being a heavyweight that's, that's had that background? I think so, yeah. I think, I think uh, me being um, a smaller heavyweight, actually, too, uh, comes to, I, I get an advantage from it because I have more cardio than most heavyweights. I'm a little faster. Um, and I, can, I, I pace myself better because I was a distance swimmer, so I had to learn to pace myself all the time. You know? So yeah. I, I think it does. Now, were you a fight fan when you started training, or did that come after, like in terms of watching fights? I never really liked watching sports, honestly. I, if, I, if I would watch something, I'd watch it once, and then I'd be like, all right, I like it, I want to do it. But I, I never watched any sports. Okay. It, it didn't, it didn't, uh, I was an active type. I, didn't, I wasn't on the sidelines being a fan ever. Okay. I like the honesty. That's cool. And then, uh, obviously, you know, fighting's not your full-time job. Uh, what, what do you do for work on the side? What's sort of paying the bills for you right now? Uh, I'm a personal trainer. Um, it's getting me by right now, and then uh, give you know some lessons here and there, and uh, <laughs> that's about it, really. That's good. You make it work, right? Like you do the personal training, kind of fit it in your schedule, and yeah. it's, is, is it yeah. tough to balance that with training, or is it pretty pretty seamless? Well, yes, so it does because I, I get to make my own schedule. That's why I pick personal training, and it's um, works out perfectly. Let's talk about Bobby Brent's uh, seventeen and seven record. So huge uh, edge and experience here. What do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him? Uh, I don't know much. I know he does some bare knuckle boxing. I know he's a tough guy. I've, I've seen him, uh, seen some video of him. He's he's a grinder. He's there to bang. You know, he's uh, he's not gonna quit. I don't know if he'll go all three rounds, but um, hoping to, to tire him out. You know, work 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 him down. And and he's pretty experienced too. So yeah, it's gonna yeah, it's it's, it's a tough fight. It's still a tough fight. Absolutely. And, and I guess conversely, I mean, I'm sure he's never fought a prof- former swimmer who's, you know, got all this crazy cardio either. Because, you know, like I said, heavyweights are sort of known as, you know, being kind of slower, powerful guys. But uh, you're kind of like, uh, like you said, a little bit undersized, but you got the cardio to, to back it up, too, which is uh, which is awesome. Um, what type of training camp have you had leading into this fight? Because we you know COVID's going on. Obviously, there's some restrictions. Uh, How has that impacted you? Uh, it hasn't really impacted me, honestly, because of um, great training partners, great gym. 
I train at American Top Team. Um, they're always there, people that help me and stuff, and my friends, and um, just been training full time. And I, I actually just fought last month, I think, is what, mm-hmm. last month and uh, two weeks ago, and I had a full camp. Didn't really need time to recover from that fight, so I, I went straight back into training. So I, I'm in like full time camp shape, basically. Okay, and uh, who are some of your main training partners? I know American Top Team is a big gym, but because of COVID, I know the groups are smaller, right? So. Um, yeah, so the groups are smaller, and um, there's a, a uh, lack of heavyweights for this camp because of um, I think they all had a fight or they were gone or something happened. But uh, I actually trained with a lot with a with a 185er, and he moves a lot. Uh, Marcos Maluco, he's uh, the guy who dressed up as the Joker. Oh, that's and, right. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, Justin Willis. I hope I said his last name correctly. Yeah, Big Pretty. Big Pretty. Yeah, I know Justin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I trained with those two, and uh, and um, Marcelo Gollum, just. Try to bring some big bodies in it, you know. I actually yeah. didn't know I was fighting Bobby Bobby Brent, so I thought I was fighting someone else. So I I would spar bigger bodies, like taller guys. And then and then on interview day for Titan, they told me it's like it's Bobby Brent, it's not not a. I thought I was fighting Lorenzo Hood actually. Oh, interesting. Oh, so switch up. I mean, that's sort of par for the course on the regional scene. You usually get uh, switch ups kind of at the last minute and everything. What's it like? Uh, what's it like getting a train with Justin? He's he's a bit of an interesting guy in terms of his personality. Yeah, he's he's a good dude actually. He's um. Good training, very technical. Um, you know, goes hard enough to make it like a hard sparring without full time, like fully hurting each other. So it's like pushing each other to the limit. Uh, knows how to put his weight on you, of course. Strong, very strong dude, man. So it was fun, a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed sparring him. Now, uh, as a heavyweight, um, I know you don't really cut much weight, but do you still eat pretty healthy? Like just leading into a fight, or do you kind of eat what you want? Every every heavyweight's sort of different when it comes to that stuff. Yeah. So I try to cut as much sugar as I can as leading up to a fight, and um, that's pretty much it, pretty much it. But I, I keep my calories high still. Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, Marcos Maluco and maybe a friend of mine Ali Kaitukov. How's the fight playing out on on Friday? Uh, obviously, you feel like you're going to get your hand raised, but how do you envision it uh, going down? Are you sort of expecting to tire him out and, and get sort of a late finish or early? How, how do you how do you see it playing out? Um. They call this guy the zombie, man. I think it's for a reason. I think he can take hits. So, and uh, to be honest, I'm not the hardest hitter uh, with my hands. Um, more, of a, I got a pretty hard kick if I can get if I get if I can get him with that. But I think later in the rounds would probably be be a better bet if you want to put some money on it. Now, there's been a handful of Titan FC champions who've gone to the UFC. Just off the top of my head, I know like Des Green at lightweight ended up going to the UFC. Walt Harris, I think, was a Titan FC champion. He ended up going to the UFC. Um, the implications of this are huge. What's sort of you know your blueprint going forward in your career if you do end up getting the win? Not looking past your opponent, but I'm sure you've thought about it. So I am, of course, trying to get to the UFC. Uh, I think I'm on that level. I, I think I should start uh, putting myself on that platform. Um, I can't tell you exactly. Like, speaking to my manager, he... He's talking, you know, talk, talking to the guys, trying to put my name out there um, and just hoping for the best, man. I, I really can't tell you honestly, but I hope to go to, I hope to get to the UFC. Uh, for sure. Um, and I imagine the plan is to keep active. Like if you get one here and you come out unscathed, are you looking to get one more in this year or looking more towards next year? Uh, I'll fight as soon as I can, anytime I can. And, uh, and whoever it is, doesn't matter. And um, if the UFC calls me right away, I'll go for it. And if, if they don't, I'll take the next fight. Yeah, and lucky being in Florida as opposed to like California or something, you got a little bit more options in terms of not only taking fights with Titan because they're always doing shows, but also you know being able to train like you mentioned at a American Top Team, which is awesome. Um, so we kind of touched on it there a little bit, like like downtime. So I know you're not a big sports guy. What do you like doing uh, when you're not training? What's sort of the you know what, what do you like doing to kind of break up the monotony of training and working and everything? Um, actually, training is what I do full time. I I never stop. I'm never out of. I never stop training. I train year round. But in my free time, I guess when I'm off training, I um, I'm I'm back in school now. I'm going for computer science and a bachelor's degree. I like coding. I like drawing, game development, gaming, that kind of stuff. I'm kind of a nerdy guy. I'd, I'd say. Okay. Do you play any video games, or are you just like you know coding? Yeah. Yeah, I do. What are you What are you playing right now? Uh, it's called Ghost of, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. So yeah, I've heard of it. Samurai yeah. Game. Yeah, it's a good game, man. Are, are you like an online guy, or do you like playing just on your own? Uh, just solo. Yeah, because it can get a bit intense, those trash talkers, those teenagers who got too much time in their hands, right? So, you, you know how it goes sometimes. I always do them. I don't, I don't do any uh, online trash talking. Although, I'm, I'm sure big... it would probably help you in your fight career a little bit, because, you know, if you get to that stage where you do need to talk some trash, you've sort of got it, you know, built up from uh, from playing online, right? On multi- multiplayer. 
man, you're you're correct with that. Like, I I, I know I need to like you know have some uh, spaza- uh what's the word like like a personality. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, like a bigger person. Self promotion. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm very mild, man, and I'm I'm trying to work on it. Trying to say stuff is just it just isn't me. It's, it feels very fake. So just try to be okay. respectful, and then um hopefully my my fighting does all the talking for me. You Absolutely. Know? Um, are you watching any Netflix at all, or is that just is it just video games as far as uh, the time you get off? Uh, no, I, I watch I watch Netflix too. I watch. So l- listen, if I logged on to your Netflix account and I looked under continue watching, what is it going to say? What are you watching right now? Right now, I'm watching Dragon's Dogma. Okay, I've heard of it. Yeah, it's supposed to be good. There was a video game that's based off a of video game, so it's like um, it's they made they made a, like an animated computer animated uh, version of it. It's pretty good. Okay, sense. I'll check it out. Yeah, like my, uh, I got a three-year-old. He's watching like the Sonic game, and I used to play Sonic growing up. I'm a little bit older than you, but uh, it's it's cool to see like them like actually make it into something. I know they've done the same thing with like Pac-Man and a few of the other things too. So it's kind of neat to see. So do you find it? I don't know. Did you ever play the game? Does it kind of live up to that? I did play the game, and uh, yes, it does actually. It's it's very along the same lines. Um, it's so in in the game, you you your character, you, you build your own character. A dragon attacks your village, kills your family and everyone. Mm-hmm. And then you set out to kill this dragon, and along the way, you you know you do missions, quests, save people, save towns. Same thing. It's pretty good, man. Love it. Uh, this is going to be an awesome fight. It's coming up here Friday on Fight Pass. It is Titan FC sixty four. Uh, Sayed, thank you so much for the time, man. I know, especially during fight week, the last thing you probably want to be doing is an interview. But uh, just remind Are people you? where they can get a hold of you on social media, and uh, yeah, anything else, any thank you, shout outs, anything like that. I'll give you the last word. Thank my training partners, man, American Top Team, for helping me out. Um, it's just uh, that's really it. Thank you, thank you for having me. I, I, it's an honor.